The Mixed Reality Rehabilitation Group is an interdisciplinary team of students and faculty within bioengineering, computer science, music, and the visual arts focused on developing interactive media systems to help stroke survivors address movement challenges they face in daily life. Our team collaborates with local health partners in developing effective tools that can improve the rehabilitation experience for both stroke survivors and physical therapists. We've identified the motor elements that are important for reach and grasp function, and by using high-resolution motion capture systems, we can extract real-time movement features to both provide feedback to the patient and inform the therapist on patient progress. Mixed reality environments use a combination of both digital and physical spaces to recontextualize repetitive task therapy into accomplishing a goal within an interactive media environment designed to actively engage the participant while communicating key aspects of movement performance to support self-assessment. The clinician can gradually reduce the amount of media used to help support the participant in developing independent movement strategies. Initial results from a clinical study demonstrate that patients were able to significantly improve in specific movement challenges resulting from stroke. While these results are encouraging, therapy within the clinic is costly, reducing the opportunity for sustainable improvements that are associated with longer-term therapy. We have therefore designed a lower-cost training system for multiple months of use within the home, requiring reduced supervision by the therapist. My name is Nicole Lehrer, and I'm a fourth-year Media Arts and Sciences PhD student. My research focuses on designing interactive visual narratives to engage the stroke survivor over multiple months of use of our system. In order to facilitate the patient's self-assessment, we've designed an interactive narrative structured in three layers. The first level provides real-time information on speed and trajectory, followed by a detailed trajectory summary on the screen. In the second level, a symbolic visual summary representing quality of performance across a set of repetitive tasks is provided. This is extended in the highest level where the quality of movement during an object transport task is represented within a short animation. My name is Mike Barron and I'm a third year Media Arts and Sciences PhD student. My research involves designing therapy scenarios that support patient self-assessment. These scenarios transition through the narrative feedback levels so that individual motor elements practiced in the lowest level can connect with overall movement quality at the highest level. The therapist is not continually present to review patient progress. To address this challenge, a computational framework has been created to assist in scripting weekly therapy protocols based on a movement profile of the patient, kinematic priorities prescribed by the therapist, and patient progress. The home system will be tested in a multi-site study this fall. Our hope is that the home system provides an engaging tool for stroke survivors to continue improving their functional ability in daily life.